the first thought you have when you think of a country like Oman or for that matter when you think of uh, any country which is in the GCC or the Arabic belt, the Gulf, the first thought that comes to you is that it must be a desert. And I think that nothing can be further from the truth. I think there are a lot of cheetahs or leopards in Oman. And I'm pretty sure that Oman was connected to uh, the Indian state of Gujarat because the kind of thorny, the kind of uh, thorny plants that you find and the greenery and the camels that you find are, they are on the same latitude. So when you are into Oman, you will be forgiven for thinking that you are in some remote part in Gujarat. But today we are going to talk about camels. So I like camels okay i like camels despite the fact that camels are very very dangerous animals you know when we look at animals like the giraffe or the camel or the deer and because they're herb herbivorous you tend to think that they are safe animals and you tend to think that uh, oh my god look a tiger is attacking a deer Oh my God, look, a lion has jumped on the neck of a camel. But the camel is not a very, very... Uh, uh, the camels can act really crazy. They can bite you. They can kick you to death. But before we go there, let's come to Arun's house. I'm still at Arun's place. And Arun took half a day off. In the morning, I had breakfast with those people. And there were, the Malu guy in the cafe thought that I... He was a bit scared that I'll go and sit right next to the uh, the Jebel person, the Jebeli. And Jebeli is just a word for the mountain people. Jebeli is a adjective. Jebel means the mountain. And um, I just went and sat there. And they were shocked. They were surprised. And the thing is, a Maori friend of mine back in New Zealand once said that, you're not easily intimidated. You're just like me. And that was a big compliment. Anyway, so we are off to see the camels and we are off to see the amazing side of Salala where the waterfalls, where the green mountains are and probably where you can see Yemen from. And there are camels everywhere. So if you just see one or two, uh, don't be disappointed because it's going to be raining camels very, very soon. Okay, there'll be camels everywhere. But the Jebel people, uh, they are a funny lot. Uh, they are very proud, but they are also very dangerous because once you reach the mountain, and those are not camels, those are goats. They are mountain goats, and I don't really mind them, if you know what I mean. And this is Arun. Arun has driven a long, long way to take me to this place. And it's been worth, worth my while. I mean... You would expect uh, sandy soil, as in you would expect it to be all desert, but it's not like that. You can see the greenery right behind and all the, all the various changes that are happening in the desert at all the times. And you can see fort-like structures. And even when you just enter Oman from Dubai, you can see that there are, there are wild leopards about. So Oman is a pretty wild and it can be a very green place. And yes, it has the touch of Africa, but that's because it's connected to Yemen and Yemen is just on the other side of Africa. So Yemen is one of those, uh, it's not an oil rich country because it doesn't have any oil. And uh, it has had its own uh, spat with uh, Saudi Arabia, I think, uh, not Turkey unless I'm mistaken, but uh, it has had its own fights with other countries. And I feel that uh, when I saw those camels, I mean, I was speechless. That's a baby camel. And there were thousands of them, literally thousands. And those people on camels, you know, with those curved knives in their belly, tucked in their belly, uh, with a very cloth belt, well, they can't, they can't intimidate you. So I guess that's that. That's the name of the game. 
and uh, after this we went right up on the hill and there is a dargah, there is a tomb of a Sufi saint and in India you tend to go to these tombs because ask and you shall receive. A lot of people ask for things whether they go to Sai Baba or they go to Fatehpur Sikri or they go to the Ajmer Darga. It's always a tomb of a Sufi saint and you can go and ask. Childless couples go and ask for children and what have you. But here the camel people are interesting. Uh, some are just friendly and nice as you can see. And some of those can be dangerous. And you can trust a South Indian person to open a cafe anywhere. And this is a kind of national park but it isn't. And yes, it has its influx of Africans because it's very close to Africa, at least Yemen is. And camels, camels everywhere, but not a drop to drink. It was quite a magical trip. And Arun just mentioned on Facebook that it was a very short trip. But you don't judge the trip by the size of the time. You judge it by the size of the camels that you see. And by that measure, it was a mammoth of a trip. Thank you, Arun. Have a great day. Please, please subscribe.